What's up guys, Noah Quizzi here back with part 2 of my MLB redesign project. This time we are covering the American League. I think my designs have gotten a lot better since that first project, the National League, so hopefully you guys enjoy some of the new ideas and the things that I did in this episode. If you do, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more. I still stuck to pretty traditional baseball design trends and things like that, but I did try to experiment and try new things as well. Hopefully you enjoy the things that I do in this episode for my designs, and hopefully MLB keeps trying new things with their uniforms, because this year is a great year for MLB jerseys, trying a lot of new city uniforms and things like that, so I'm excited to see what comes out in the future. All these uniforms are created in Photoshop using mock-up templates from my store, TemplateFC.com. So if you're interested in making your own concept jerseys or sports uniforms, be sure to check that out down below. And also we have tutorials on our YouTube channel, which will teach you how to use these products and mock-ups in general. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Maryland loves their flag, so I wanted to include their flag design into the Orioles jersey design. I created a simple stripe design for the collar and sleeve trim, which otherwise would be pretty boring, but I included the flag there to add some interest. I personally like both of the Orioles primary hat logos, but I think the O's logo looks more traditional and fits better for the main home and road. The bird head logo can still be used for the alternates and works well with my alternate home uniform which features the O's logo on the chest. I actually created five different hats with the two logos so the hats can be mixed and matched with different uniform combinations. The main alternates other than the home white alternate are the orange and white top which works better as a home look and the black and orange top which would work better as the road look. Finally I have the fun jersey which pretty much every team in this project will have one of these and for the Orioles it's an all orange with black uniform. I think more baseball jerseys need different colored pants rather than wearing the same white or gray so you'll see that throughout this project but in this case it's an all orange look for the Orioles which I think looks really really interesting. For Boston I altered the trim striping to have two parallel lines rather than the one solid line. This look doesn't stray too far away from their current look but also gives them something a little bit different with the parallel lines being inspired by their 1946 home jersey sleeve trim so it brings in some some history with the modern look and it's just not a drastic change. The road uniform is similar to their current road but it does feature some small striping and adds a little more red features. The home alternate has a classic feel with the old school font but still feels fresh for the socks with the lack of navy use. A red alternate top would be the home variation. It features dual tone collars with navy and white along with an alternate hat to match. The navy road option features thick sleeve striping and the sock secondary logo on the hat. The final alternate was partly inspired by the classic Astros gradient jersey but also kind of its own thing but it features these staggered lines and splits the jersey between red and navy for a really bold look that is a mix up from their other uniforms that are pretty traditional. I didn't want to mess with the white socks uniform too much because I think it's pretty good but I did want them to stand out a little bit more so I created this sock pattern on the sleeve trim to bring some interest there. I think more teams should have pinstripes on their road uniforms so I did that here for Chicago and I think it's a great look. The cream alternate is inspired by the city of Chicago and their flag, which also fits with the White Sox retro color scheme a little bit, kind of off, but kind of close, and differs a lot from the Cubs uniforms I did in part one, which is something I wanted to make sure of. The other three alternates are black, of course, because there's not a lot to do with the White Sox's color scheme, but a black uniform always looks good, and I have a home and road version here. The home features the pinstripe sleeve trim to match the pants, while the road features silver accents for a full black and silver look that would have NWA sweating. The third black thread is all black, featuring featuring white pinstripes for a really unique MLB look that was mainly inspired by Vanderbilt's black and gold pinstripe uniform. This uniform also features the classic White Sox branding that stands out among the other uniforms stylized look. I covered Cleveland in their own video, my thread fix video for the Guardians, so you can check that out for more details. Basically the design elements come from the Guardian statues in which they get their name, so you can watch that video for even more information on why I did what I did. I had some different ideas for the Tigers home look, but I couldn't settle on something better than this iconic and classic vibe. I did want to incorporate orange or other things, but it just felt wrong. For the road thread, I chose the block font over the script font for a different feel. I think it's a little bit better, and I also incorporated a lot of orange here because obviously the home has no orange, so this is where I wanted to incorporate that color, exactly what they do currently. The alternate home is a more modern design style with the sleeve color and the stripes there as a switch up from their more classic home. The first navy alternate is a simple top with the white alternate hat, which keeps 
to look clean and doesn't stray too far away from their old school vibe. The other navy look features these subtle tiger stripes and orange particles throughout just to add a little bit of color there. The orange alternate would be mainly a road look and features silver trim and fading tiger stripes. The final alternate is all navy with orange accents which has this really interesting look. It's like a classic and modern feel and it's just very distinguished and really stands out. Ironically that uniform is similar to the new uniform from the next team, the Astros who I just saw their new city uniforms that are pretty great, but my uniforms for the Astros were actually inspired by their gradient uniform, which is one of the GOAT sports uniforms of all time, in my opinion. So I really wanted to incorporate that gradient style. The home and road both feature the gradient on the text, which helps them stand out to be different, but the rest of the design is pretty clean and traditional. The home and road alternate uniforms feature the gradient on the sleeves with a more simplistic hat and chest setup. The main orange and navy tops are both clean designs that could be worn at home or on the road. The navy uniform brings in stars through out to reflect the name Astros and also I designed that before the Astros came out with their city uniform and the orange uniform just features navy as the secondary color with no white which I think is a distinct look. The over the top gradient top which is my homage to the classic Astros jersey uh, is probably better off being a batting practice or warm-up jersey but it is quite different and interesting and I thought I'd include it. The main feature of my Royals uniforms are the crown sleeve trim inspired by the crown on their logo of course. The road thread is a light bluish gray which really kind of separates them from other road uniforms and I chose this royal feeling block font with the small stylized serif uh, to be the main chest logo. I had to include the all powder blue uniform because the royals are one of the few teams I associate the look with even though they're very common throughout the MLB now and I've designed a lot for this project but after watching the George Brett pine tar incident over and over again on VHS as a kid Kansas City is one of the few teams that I think really really uh, identifies with that look and I prefer the powder blue with white rather than royal blue. The last three uniforms are all royal blue uniforms with the first having the KC logo on the chest and a traditional white chest trim. Basically your safe and clean option. The second includes gold and features this alternate crown hat so this would be their royal look if you will. And the final one is a bit bizarre. It was a design taken from one of my soccer kits but it features the royal blue top on the powder blue pants which I think is an awesome color combo and there's no white throughout this uniform. I decided to revert back to the angels logos with the yellow halo and decided to include a bit of that yellow in the uniforms. So the uniforms feature the staggered sleeve trim striping uh, with three colors, including the yellow. I chose to use the Angels text on all the uniforms, which is what the Angels currently do, but I think the nickname defines the franchise better than the city, which is more associated with the Dodgers. The alternate home features a lot more navy to resemble the uniforms of their past, which featured this color a lot more. I have two red uniforms, a home and road, with the home featuring white and navy accents, while the road brings in some silver. The other two alternates are a navy top which features some red and white particles for interest and a light blue top that was actually inspired by their like 90s Disney era branding. Brother actually had a hat with their logo from this period and it was light blue and red and it looked so good so I wanted to use that color scheme here and it's a little different for the angels but I think it fits the style of LA. I decided to do something unique for the twins which inspired some later jerseys but I went with the gold pinstripes here which are much more subtle than traditional pinstripes. I like the use of gold the twins are currently doing so I continued that here on the sleeves and logo as well. Again, for the road, I went to the subtle pinstripe look with gray on light gray. The alternate cream home has a traditional design with the TC logo on the chest, changing it up from the twins text logo. The navy alternate top features the flat red text logo with thicker sleeve stripes for a more subdued look, and the red alternate top features a drop shadow text logo and chest trim for a more bold look that stands out. I wanted a uniform with a bit more gold to fit with the gold on the home uniform, so I went with this red with navy sleeves top that has a lot of gold accents. The final uniform is another full color look that features the red pinstripes on navy and a red hat. This uniform would look a bit purple because of the red blending with the blue to the human eye, but I still think it's very dank and would really stand out. This set is mostly alternates because it felt weird to alter the Yankees home and road looks, so I didn't change them at all. So the home is their traditional pinstripes and I just kept their current road uniform because it's not too bad. The first alternate though is a classic alternate with the cream color and the old school scuffed looking logo. There's another alternate throwback here which is the all navy with a white hat and socks and this features the old ny logo on either side of the chest which is pretty unique the other alternates are all road alternates as i believe the yankees should always wear their pinstripes at home whether it's their normal home or a throwback home the two gray road alternates both feature pinstripes because the yankees have made the pinstripes famous if we're being honest uh, they're known for them throughout baseball and the world so i thought it was fitting that they would wear them on the road too one of them has the classic new york text which i think looks great and the other has the yankees text because i like both of these and i think they could wear both. The navy top uniform also uses
uses the road pinstripes with pinstripe designs on the sleeve and collar, similar to what I did with the White Sox. The A's used to rock the yellow logo on their uniforms, which I decided to do for my design as it's a bit more bold than the green. And I also think that would fit them moving cities if they were to do that, which is a big rumor of them moving to Vegas right now. I also gave them chest and sleeve trim striping because their blank home uniforms are a little too boring for my taste. And I wanted to give them something a little bit different and a little more interesting. The road swaps the text logo to green along with a dual tone chest trim this time, which I think would be a very distinct look for Oakland because both green and yellow work really well like this. I love the old yellow A's uniforms with the green sleeves. So I created a home alternate inspired by these uniforms that is white. And then I also created a road gray version, which features the dual tone look again, but this time on the sleeves. Both of these uniforms have their own hat too. That all yellow uniform that I just mentioned is in my top five all time baseball uniforms. So I had to remake it here because I think the athletics should wear it pretty often. The Phillies wear their powder blues like every Thursday. And I think the A's should do something similar. Then I have two green tops, a more simplistic Oakland one with yellow accents only and yellow pants, which would be a really bold road design. And the yellow pants would give them a very distinct aesthetic. Then we have a more traditional baseball top with the athletics across the chest with a white drop shadow. I really embrace the nautical theme here for the Mariners with a chest and sleeve trim made to look wavy like ocean water. And I really like the subtle pinstripes I did for the twins. So I did that here for the Mariners as well, but it's even more subtle and is more of a texture rather than a distinct design feature. The road text logo has a blue to teal gradient to resemble water and kind of has its own unique wavy trim on the collar and sleeves that is different from the home uniform. I think these oceanic elements really help the uniform stand out from other teams. There's a more traditional navy look here with the thick teal trim and a unique alternate hat. And then we have a navy top with teal sleeves, which features the compass part of the logo, which I think this alternate logo looks pretty neat. I like to call this one neon teal as I really lightened up and saturated their normal dark teal. And you may notice on the sleeves, they feature a very subtle gradient to light blue. I love these full color pinstripe jerseys. So I went with this all teal one for the Mariners. The silver text on this uniform gives this uniform a dark and gloomy feel to me, uh, which really fits with Seattle's branding and the Mariners overall. I get tired of seeing so many teams in Major League Baseball and in sports in general using Navy. I went on a rant about it in my college football redesign series. So for the Rays, I went with more of the light blue for their uniform since I believe it fits Tampa Bay and Florida in general a lot better than Navy does. So the home and road look both feature a lot of light blue, but I also bring in some of that yellow, which is another color that really fits the city and state perfectly. The first alternate Navy features this colorful gradient that comes from their alternate logo that is featured on the hat. The other Navy top uses the classic Tampa Bay text logo from their Devil Rays days and brings in some yellow accents to really make it pop. The light blue top also brings in yellow with the sun gradient. So there's a little bit of orange in there and the sun alternate logo hat, which I believe that's a sun in their logo. It kind of looks like a spark, but I think it's a sun. I'd imagine it's a sun. The final uniform is yet another full color look, which is all light blue with navy sleeves to continue the theme of teams having light blue jerseys, which Major League Baseball loves. I love them personally, so why not? Also, this one is very similar to the A's all yellow look. I like the Rangers new uniforms and I didn't change too much, but I decided to give them a little more interesting of a sleeve pattern. So I use some triangles and circles inspired by some Mexican patterning, which obviously a lot of Mexican culture has bled into Texas culture. So I thought it was pretty fitting. And also it doesn't, it's not distinctly Mexican. It's just interesting. I split the road text logo in half for a dual tone look, similar to how their circle logo is divided. I use that same text logo then for the cream home alternate, which features stars and stripes on the sleeve trim, which I thought was fitting for a Texans uniform. Again, powder blue uniforms always look good. So my version of the Rangers powder blues is using only red with none of the royal blue, which I think stands out from some of the other powder blue uniforms that I've done. The royal blue alternate is pretty clean and resembles the initial home jersey, while the red alternate is the only Rangers jersey here to feature the chest trim, and it features blue as the only secondary color with no white. To distinguish Toronto's two main blues, I decided to brighten up the lighter blue to be more cyan. There's more contrast there. The uniforms feature thin trim on the collar and sleeves, with the sleeves featuring the Canadian maple leaf throughout to bring in a little more red. The Blue Jays are another team that fits with the powder blue jersey, of course. So mine features the white text logo, which I think looks better without the royal blue. I think using different pant colors is something baseball should do more of, which you would have seen so far in this project. So I designed two jersey tops to go with the powder blue pants. The first is a pretty standard royal blue with light blue and white accents. And then the second one is a very dark navy that complements the light blue very well, I think. I thought this jersey worked here because all these uniforms are very bright. And this one, it has the dark 
dark look so there's a lot of contrast there i have another royal blue top here that features the primary logo on the chest and there is a red version of this too which is kind of inspired by canada day you can see the hat is basically the canadian flag and that is my mlb redesign series i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more if you guys want to see the full project with all the uniforms national and american league you can check that out in the description down below it will take you to my behance and you can see all those still images thank you guys for watching again and i will see you in the next one peace